Well, hello YouTubers, NZ Adamant here. Haven't made a video for a while, but I thought I'd make one today. Beautiful day. Today I'm just going to um, uh, try out something that I think might be potentially uh, good for a homemade uh, MRE. Uh, and that's these things here. They're called um, uh, Tasty Bite Thai Peanut Noodles. And they come in a pouch, sealed pouch. And as you can see there, you can microwave them or you can cook them on the stove pot and you're supposed to immerse them completely in water for five minutes with the pouch closed and then open it up and it should be ready to go. So I thought today uh, I would use those for my lunch and I will um, cook them in my uh, little cooking system I've got here which is an old US Army cooking system and I'll heat them with my uh, Esbit uh, my Esbit alcohol uh, burner right so I'm going to do that so that's my US Army bottle no big deal you say and I'd agree with you um, with my little copper lid that I made uh, for my uh, canteen cup my US Pack Fab cup, so they're made by Pacific Fabrication in uh, uh, California, somewhere there. And uh, this is um, my stove. Now this is a, uh, a homemade stove. I've made it out of a, a Rothko heavy duty aluminium cup. I've made it slightly bigger than the standard um, one you buy. Um, I, we can't, in New Zealand we can't really buy uh, these, they don't come separately, they're very cheap in the States, I know three bucks, but me to get one of these I'd have to buy a $60 kit, and uh, you know that's just not uh, not on, um, so I've made my own, and with my own nice copper lid. Okay, so anyway, I'll get this thing uh, all fired up, now you can see it, it works pretty well, I'll just go on there like that. And uh, that fits over there very well. And I'll get the water on the heat and I'll come back to you when it's boiling away. Actually, I thought you might want to see me just do the initial operation. So you fill these little alcohol burners up. In my case, I'm using um, uh, methylated spirits. Fill them up about halfway, three quarters. Nothing more than that, you certainly don't want to be over there. Over, over the, um, you don't want to be over there. Right? There's ideal, which is about where I've got it filled up, and that's what that line's there for. Right, now, I'm going to uh, have to uh, stop for a second because the one thing I forgot, sorry me, <laughs> is a lighter. Hold on, I'll go and get it. Right, I'm back. Just a wee kit I've got here that you might be interested in. And it's got a, uh, a um, fire stick Velcro to the side, and it can just come off when I want it to. This comes off. I've got a Velcro to my uh, Victorinox um, leather uh, pouch. I've got a nice little lead lens. Uh, the same. Uh, system yeah, no greatly torch in there as well got a lighter for ease of use and I say but hey I'll use this this is the way to do it just put that there a little bit of twine the thing with these is you gotta be a bit careful when you're doing this because you can't really tell if it's going or not and um, I'd say that'll be going just put my hand over it, and yes, that's away. So it doesn't take much. Okay, we'll put that away. Now we've just got to slip that in there now, and uh, put the cap on. It's quite snug. Fits quite snugly on that. Put some water on. And just another little hint, 
for using these bottles. I saw, a, I can't remember the YouTuber's name, but it was a great wee tip. Get yourself a bit of rubber bite tyre. Um, wrap it around the lid. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. And, um, and if you need a pre-filter, you just put a cloth over there, put that on there, and you can uh, pour water through it. But anyway, we're not doing that. Here she goes. She doesn't take long to boil. Just got to be a bit careful how much water I put in because I've got to fit this bag in there. So I might as well put it in from here. Yeah. So this will be interesting to see um, how this is going to go. So I'll put more water in. So basically that's that. I'll squeeze it down a bit I think. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to use my lid very well today. And I'll come back to you when that's on the ball. Boiling away now for a while. So, uh, about five minutes boiling time. So, we'll stick with that. I'd like to say it only took five minutes to make, but it didn't. It took considerably longer. So, um, a, little, uh, a little hint to people. Uh, when you're doing this sort of thing, and I'll just adjust my camera a wee bit. Hold on. Just a little hint to people when you're doing this sort of thing. Um, these ball in the bags, and I don't know if I'd had a wee look around. Um, are good. Um, but, boil your water first. Get your water boiling, then put it in. Um, it takes far too long if you do it from cold with the, the packet in, because it's trying to heat up the contents of the packet as well as trying to uh, heat the water. Um, I, I never ran out of fuel, but it's taken me, from cold, it's taken me 20 minutes to get it to this point, which is too long. You know, you, you want to be spending, well, I think 15 minutes is reasonable sort of thing if you're out in the field or something like that. Okay, um, and I just want to see how good these things stood up. But hey, look, this bag um, has stood up really well. It's got a clear, it's got clear plastic. You can see the corn and stuff inside. Um, it hasn't punctured or anything like that. So the bag is of good quality and it's certainly up to it. If you put that in your um in your kit, uh, take camping, no problem, it's gonna survive. Uh, as well as any MRE or um uh, mountain house or anything like that, I'd say. No problems there. Right, let's um uh, try it out. Okay, I'll just uh, take that off the boil. Blow that out. Put a lid on. It snuffs it. Put that over there. Right. Now. Yep. We've got this other little wonderful thing here. Here's um, a chow kit. This one here is actually, um, I don't know if you can see that there. Little focus. The 1945 model, so I'm pretty happy to have that actually. So, oh well, using the old cooker and the US Army kit, I might as well put the chair in there. Okay, so that over there, go there, and let's dry her out. Alright, and that water really clean in there. If you weren't too terribly fussy and you're a bit low on water, you just make yourself a cup of coffee using that water that you just made the ball and bag with. So we'll just add a bit of this to mix it around a little bit. It's really hot and having to wear these gloves. So like I say, it's really been in there for about 20 minutes. Right, we'll tear the tabs off. Oh, yeah, they come off nice and easy. Mm, smells nice. And we'll put it in. 
Right. Well, that doesn't look too bad, does it? That shed's an awful lot of it. My goodness me. Uh, yep, no, that's, and it comes out of the bag really well. So, set that bag aside. Let's have a look at it. Right. I'll attempt to get the knife out. These are handy wee sets that all slot into each other, not too heavy. Just use a fork for this. That's right, hold that up to you so you can have a good look at it. Nice colour. And as you can see, got peanuts, baby corn, plenty of noodles, some spices and other things in there. And actually, it's a pretty hearty meal now, as a wee gap. I'll just move that over a wee bit. Big, uh, nice thick, nice thick noodles. Look at that, that's a real meal. Right, let's try her out. Right. Mmm. Tell you what, that's bloody nice. It's uh, got a nice hot spicy um, aftertaste with it. You can taste the peanuts, um, nice and crunchy, and um, and the other herbs in it as well. Tell you what, very nice. I'll be more than satisfied. So I'll give this a nine out of ten for a, a ball in the bag and a meal. Oh yeah, it's good that it's got that nice um, spice and that nice hot, hot spice. You don't have to worry about, um, about anything in it. Mmm, very nice. Okay, that's it. Recommend that. Thai peanut noodles. And that sort of pouch bag, really good. A heat neat bag. Um, going to boil it in a, using the old uh, American uh, US um, cup system using an oil burner and he's but really good does a good job um, but boil the water first before you put it and don't make the same mistake I made okay 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 youtubers I hope it was of um, some interest to you thanks for watching uh, hi uh, youtubers NZ Latimer here um, just as a, an addendum to my video that I've just done that you probably just watched um, I just wanted to show you um, the quality of the water that was still left, the ball in the bag. Of course, that's pretty clean. Okay, and I'll just tip that out. And 20 minutes burning with a wee cooker, and that's all the residue on the bottom of the cup. Um, so, you know, they're really great, these little Esbit ears ears cookers. Um, I just use methylated spirits. Um, in the states but anyway probably heat or something like that but yeah no no clean up everything's nice and tidy you know and um just put back together uh, really easily and anyway, hey just a bit of additional information uh, okay hey thanks for watching again cheers